Welcome to the Nita and Eddie DeRose Thunderbolt. We're in Pueblo here this Saturday afternoon. It's Armac football on Xfinity Sports as Colorado Mines comes to call to CSU Pueblo. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the telecast. Brian Roth with you, along with former Thunderwolf Paul Browning. Boy, these are the games you live for as a player. Two nationally ranked teams, two teams with national championship aspirations. And Paul, as a player, you've played in a ton of these. They're a whole lot of fun. Oh, definitely. There's nothing better than the CSU Pueblo Colorado School of Mines rivalry. Uh, you know, every time you're going to get a good one. Uh, great offenses, great defenses. Big time players come and they make plays, big time plays in big time games. And that's what you're going to see today. Thank you. The difference between being good and being great. Second down and short, back to the ground game. McDonald broke and tackled the five, stretches, touchdown. Cameron McDonald from 12 yards away, and CSU Pueblo strikes first. Offense going after they were held to just 62 yards in quarter number one. Play fake. Thompson caught. Touchdown, Zach Boyd. And it's 13 0 Thunderwolves. Second and nine, bubble screen. Duncan got to the outside. Watch out. Duncan, he's gone. Touchdown, 49 yards. And it's 20 to nothing. Second down and 10 from the 30-yard line, and this time they will give off to McDonald. Broke one tackle and another. Midfield, Cameron McDonald still on his feet to the outside. Cameron McDonald, touchdown pack. We said it. We said it earlier. This is CSU Pueblo runs the ball, and you don't want to go down 28. Nothing. In that's exactly what happens. Right. 150 yards rushing all season. Amazing. And Thompson will go down. So the ore diggers are going to get a big stop. Hard to come by so far for the School of Mines. And they'll open up with a first down pass that will go for 15 yards. To a dozen. On second down all day for Dvorak and able to find a receiver open in the middle of the field. Matt Schmidt, good drive for CSM. Dvorak across the middle. Ty Young has it inside the 25-yard line. Looking for Spurgeon. Has him. Touchdown, Ordiggers. The big body, that's exactly where you want to hit him, right on that inside slant. He's matched up one-on-one -on -one with Joe Jones, the uh, much smaller safety. But, I mean, he just put it right to where only Spurgeon can get it, right on his numbers. Third down, play it back in the first quarter, doing it right there on third and 13. Cameron McDonald, there he goes. Inside the 10. And the senior from Littleton continues to shine today. For McDonald, who has gone over 200 yards for the game, and his younger brother Bernard trying to cap it off. And does. Touchdown, CSU Pueblo. Says, we welcome him. Continue to send your Rebels down here. And a little flip, and then Ty Young Just down, and a long three to go. Looks like a busted play. But Art McDonald going to try to get it to the edge. He has the first down, and he has the end zone. Wolfpack have added another big play. When you can do that, you put yourself in, in a pretty good position, but they have not been able to stop Pueblo in the big play. Zach Richter showing a little shake right there. So Steven Yoshihara, the sophomore at a legacy high school in Thornton, is in at quarterback and Sam Seaton straight up the middle. He is in touchdown, 12 yard touchdown run. And the student that comes through here, he cares if you graduate, he cares whether you go to the pros, he's going to do everything within his power to get you to where you need to be. So, um, just got to embrace it, and that's what makes it so special. Everybody embraces it. And right behind, however many pounds, I don't want to throw that, that number on him. I don't know what he's going to say about it as they get the touchdown, but uh, having him come.